The preparation of amines or amines always begins with a nitrogen compound. For example, let's start with ammonia, NH3. And we're going to add an alkyl halide, which is basically a carbon chain with any halogen attached to it. What do we need for this reaction to occur? We don't need any catalysts, but what we're going to produce is an amine and what else? An acid. So let's think about this. Where will the acid come from? Let's take some colors. We're going to take one of these H's and the halogen, and this is going to turn into hydrochloric acid. So what is left over from this molecule? We still have the nitrogen and we still have the carbon chain. So we take the nitrogen and we attach the carbon chain to it because there was a substitution, these two inverted partners. Chlorine went with the hydrogen and the carbon chain went with the nitrogen. What are the results? We have 1,2-ethanamine or ethanamine and water. This is when we begin with a molecule of ammonia. What happens when we begin with another amine or amine? Let's take the same example from this one. Let's say our first product, our first reactant was ethanamine and we add another molecule of, let's say, mm -mm -mm, fluoromethane. So we have the halogen here and we have what? What do we have here? The carbon chain, which is only one carbon. So they're going to flip, they're going to switch. Remember, hydrogen is implicit here, but it still exists because nitrogen has three hydrogen bonding possibilities. So when we make it react, let's first make our acid. Our acid comes from one of those hydrogen molecules that are implicit here and the fluorine. So we get hydrofluoric acid. And I just realized I made a mistake on the top reaction. Not water, I'm sorry. Hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid. So the same thing happens here. Hydrogen and fluorine come together. They form hydrofluoric acid. What is left over? Our original molecule, which is the ethyl, and then this carbon chain, methyl. We find the longest chain, 1, 2, so this is ethanamine, or ethanamine, and at letter N, we have methyl. And it's very simple. So again, the carbon chain joins the nitrogen, the hydrogen goes with the halogen to form the acid, and if you already have a chain, remember, nitrogen can accept up to three chains. So, this is a primary amine. This is a secondary amine because the hydrogen has two substitutions. And this is a tertiary amine. So, you can continue this reaction as many spaces as nitrogen has available.